The single most significant trend for AI in 2025 will be AI agents. And we're going to see a shift from building and focusing on AI models to AI ecosystems. I'm going to lay out in as plain speak as I can in this video what that actually means and how you and your business should be getting ready for this. And hey, if we haven't met, I'm Julie McCoy and I live in the intersection between AGI, life, work, productivity, and well-being. I think that what's coming with AI will free us up to do less doing, be more human being. All right, so let's jump right in. Picture this. Imagine you work in an office. You get up, make your coffee, you head straight to the office. You walk in that office and you find out that 700 of your colleagues have been completely replaced by bots. That is in science fiction, and that story isn't even in the future. That exact scenario actually happened in 2024. In this case study featured on OpenAI's site, Klarna, a global payment company, released an AI assistant. For some context, Klarna has 150 million customers. Well, this AI assistant, powered completely by OpenAI, when it launched in its first month, it had 2.3 million conversations with customers did the equivalent of 700 full-time humans, service agents, and was directly on par with human agents in satisfaction from Klarna's customer base. Also, they found that it was more accurate in resolutions, leading to a 25% drop in repeat inquiries, and the ability to close tickets also increased. The average time was 11 minutes with a human. That dropped all the way down to two minutes with Klarna's AI. And in 2024 alone, this AI assistant is set to drive $40 million in profit back to the company. Now, this isn't a new case study. I know that. But the fact that it happened before 2025 and the age of agents is a precursor to what's coming. And instead of fearing total job automation and going, oh no, jobs are going to be lost, we should be getting ahead of that by saying, how can we capitalize on that new dynamic? You know, I would never sell human copywriting services. For example, I would be very upfront with all my customers that AI is better, faster, cheaper, safer. And so I'm going to deploy it in my services. If I have any business model that runs using any form of marketing, customer service, sales operations, hmm, that's 100% of businesses. Doesn't matter if they're a team of one or a team of millions can all be benefit from this new approach. We are doing so much work in my AI integrations company, First Movers. And when I say so much work, we're deploying a lot of bots to do the work. It's our thoughts and our expertise driving those bots, producing stellar results. But we are sitting down with a lot of businesses, uncovering a ton of use cases. What we found after more than 50 discovery calls with businesses looking to automate a ton of different processes was this goal a nugget I'm going to share with you. The best question we've ever asked, common denominator across the board in all of these discoveries, was this question. If you sat down and you looked across your entire business, what would be the greatest time suck, the most annoying thing that you have to deal with? For some, it was corralling different members of an offshore team. For others, it was managing pain in the butts email threads. For others, it was a 50 page audit they deliver that takes a week. What if you could revolutionize your your biggest time suck. I'm telling you, if you start there, you will completely revolutionize your entire business. And that's just a fraction of the beginning of what's coming in 2025. The year of AI agents. And I share Klarna's story to portray to you this picture I believe in so much. I literally called my AI company first movers. The people, the businesses, the entrepreneurs, the builders that are thinking now about how to get ahead of what's coming with operating systems that will run AI agents in buckets to complete tasks autonomously. If you're thinking way ahead like Klarna, adding $40 million in profit to their business every year with a sophisticated AI assistant, well, you can do some magic right now. 
And that's how you should think going into 2025. So we know that in January or somewhere in Q1 2025, OpenAI is going to release their autonomous agent called Operator right inside ChatGPT. It's going to be able to operate your computer and get tasks done. Google, Anthropic, every other major tech company is in a race to launch similar agent-like behaviors inside their models. We have Claude with computer use. And I believe instead of looking at all the jobs that will be eliminated, we should consider all the jobs that will open up. When AI does the heavy lifting in a faster, better, cheaper, safer way than any other human ever could. Number one, most routine office work will be completely eliminated. New jobs will emerge around AI management. Every major company will have some form of AI agents and Finally, work itself will completely change. The companies that adapt to this first will have an insurmountable advantage. There's going to be four pillars in these AI ecosystems that are being built and will be in heavy use in 2025. Remember what I said earlier, we're going to go from a focus on models to ecosystems to support this emerging behavior of how AI will function, not just a multimodal generator, but an actual operator of tasks. So the pillar of this new AI ecosystem is going to include the AI model itself, post-training of the model, internal tools built to support AI functionalities, and the agent functionality itself. And the more customized these solutions get to the business, which is where AI integrators like first movers come in, the more customized your bots are to the situations you, your business, your team deal with, the ways you sell, the words you use, the prices you quote, the products you have, the services you offer. Well, the more AI installed in your business understands those specifics, the better results you get with automated processes. So I think the customization of AI agents, bots, automated processes will be key in this new new era we're going to see of AI ecosystems in 2025. OpenAI is rumored to release this feature called Jawbone, which is a focus on autonomous AI agents being able to handle long duration tasks with minimal supervision. Inside of this will be a task scheduling beta feature where users can actually manage their tasks inside a user interface. And get this, task can be scheduled according to seasons, specific times, prompts can be set to trigger those tasks, and the craziest part, these tasks can be set for two years in advance, potentially completely automating your tasks. Now, the danger for things to go wrong, of course, is super high, which is why we personally recommend in all of our integrations at First Movers, you have a human in the loop. If you automate most of marketing, you can get work down from 40, 50, hundreds of hours per week. You can get that down to minutes, but those minutes of that human overseeing that task then become arguably the most critical piece of that work. And we have seen the need to hire specialized humans, not generalized humans, to be that human eyeball in the human in the loop process. For example, if you have somebody very generalized with no specific knowledge of your industry, they don't know what typos, concept inconsistencies to look for when they're proofreading that content. But here's the beautiful thing. Because of the capabilities in what we can automate, the expert themselves can be the final proofreader, the final checker on a complete AI ecosystem and govern what could take 100 humans, but done all automatically. And that expert is the final eye. That transforms the capabilities of the experts in the world, literally 25xing, 100xing their capabilities. I have bots set up to perform most of my marketing. These bots are so dialed in, customized to everything I know, trained on a database of we're nearing 100,000 words on the data set that governs my marketing copywriters, all AI bots and I'm the final proofreader. Over 50 different pieces of individual content posts, I've had to do less than one edit. That's how dialed in you can get AI, and that's before the age of autonomous agents coming our way. With what's coming in the rumored task scheduling capabilities of Jawbone from OpenAI, we are looking at the transformation of personal productivity, business productivity, and the work landscape itself. I think that we are going to see a 
time when all office work will be eliminated and what that human does will change. If you want to stay ahead of the coming revolution and how work, life, and human well-being itself will change because of the rapid advancements in AI, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube at Julie McCoy, and I'll see you down the next AI rabbit hole.